What's up guys, it's x 2 rabby 2 x here, and today, bringing you another episode of Minecraft Modding Made Easy. And today we're going to be covering custom metals for armors, and custom armors. Now, you'll see a bunch of other tutorials out there on how to make custom armor, but it's usually just custom armor with the attributes of some other armor, and it's just different texture, and... Uh, different uh, different name, different texture. I mean, that's not, I don't know. That's not what custom armor really is. You need to give it some different attributes. So, right off the bat, I'm going to cover all the all the textures and, and whatever else. Let me open up my Photoshop real quick. And let me move this down, down, move down. I'll just close out of view. Alright, so... Um, first of all, I'll show you where all these pictures are. So let's go to our MCP folder. Let's go to our jars. And let's go to bin. Let's open up minecraft.jar with the winrar. It's on my other screen. And you're going to want to go into armor. Now, I already have uh, these two in here. Blocky M1, Blocky M2. And... Basically, what you want to do is open up Diamond 1 or Diamond 2. I think Diamond is the easiest one to modify just because it's so... on the colors are just so different. And basically, this is what you're going to get. This is Diamond underscore 1. This is Diamond underscore 2. Well, this is not it. I mean, I modified it to be Blockium. Because this is actually Blockium underscore 1, Blockium underscore 2. If I open up Diamond 1 again, this is where you're going to get. It's going to look like this. So you want to modify, I think I think it was this one, yeah, underscore one. This is what it's going to look like. So this is the top one is the helmet. Now, um, see, this is like the front. Here's where the eyes are. This folds up above your head. This is the back of your head. This is the side. This is the side. I think this is the neck part. I don't really know what this is. But this is the your front, like, chest armor. This is where your neck would be right here and this will wrap around wrap around this is your back these are your like little arms and shoulders or whatever and I have no clue what this is I think these are also your arms I don't I don't know but basically you want to color this somehow and save it as whatever your blocks name is underscore one but remember this name do not forget this name it's better just put it all in lowercase so you, you don't forget it but just put it whatever your name is underscore one now if you go in the same um, same folder there's diamond underscore two now this is actually feet and legs now these are legs from the front right here this is these are just legs and whatever this is I think it's the bottom of the foot or something and these are boots see here's uh here's the side here's the side here's the front right here here's the front and it's from the side and yeah, whatever. So these are boots, these are legs. You want to modify those and save that as whatever you want to name it, underscore two. This, uh, the underscore and the number is really important, so save it as underscore two. So, yeah, I named mine Blockium underscore two. And, I mean, I guess we have that covered. So let's go ahead and look at our normal items. I already showed you in previous tutorials where to get these textures just from the if you go to GUI and then items you want to just zoom in on one of these items I do diamond because I don't know it just, it just has the most like vivid colors I guess you could say so I just copy this and paste it into another 16 by 16 picture and modify it and you want to save these as whatever you want I guess I named this blockium helmet Blocking chest, blocking legs, and blocking boots. Now, um, let's go to our MCP folder. You know, you would normally put your textures in here. Now, I do have all my textures in here, but blocky one and blocky M two would do absolutely nothing here. You want to put your boots, legs, chest, and what am I missing? I'm missing helmet right here. You want to put those four in here. Because, I mean, that's, it, they're just going to go in here. Blocky 1, Blocky 2, they do absolutely nothing here. So you want to copy these two 
and actually go back to your minecraft.jar so now I'll actually do this again so you can see navigate back go to your jars bin minecraft.jar open with winrar or 7zip whatever you have and then you want to go in here you want to go into armor and paste those two in here now this is really important make sure you have the underscore one underscore two in the right places make sure you remember this name right here now, all this is really important so make sure you have it so once all your pictures are in place let's get to the coding part let's uh... i'm gonna minimize that so um, inner mod blockium well actually no let's i'm gonna go do the the easier part first so we're gonna go into enum armor material now we already covered enum tool material before and we're pretty much going to do the same exact thing in here but it's a it's a little more complicated well not really but has little more uh, parameters so let's just copy this this one make sure to get rid of this semicolon because that's probably going to give you errors and then make sure you have a semicolon at the end there ending the line of code now let's name this whatever you want to name it I'm naming it blockium and I'm also naming this blockium now what these numbers mean, I don't, I couldn't really, really tell you, but by looking at all this other stuff, I'll try to tell you. So, um, four, that's definitely the ID, since cloth has one, uh, I mean, cloth has zero, one, two, three, four, so you want to make this five. Now, this, I'm guessing, is the number of uses, because that's what it looks like, or no, actually, um, like the resistance towards attacks I'm guessing that's what it is so let's make this 45 because diamond is 33 and iron is 15 so yeah let's make it 45 now this is an array of uh, of four numbers now I'm I'm really not sure what this is but I'm I'm 99% sure I'm positive <laughs> that this is um, your armor count now each one of these numbers is one half of that little armor bar that you would see in game that little white armor bar each one of these numbers is one half of that and this is helmet chest legs and boots now since full diamond armor gives us full armor bar I'm just gonna leave these like this so our armor just fills up our armor bar it can't go over though cuz I mean you know it just can't so we have that and the last number here I'm guessing is a number of uses like the durability of the item since gold usually has more like not more durability it goes out faster but like it's stronger so I don't that also might be the resistance so like I don't know what it is really so let's set this to 45 also because I'm fairly certain that a bigger number is always better you know this even though armor I mean iron is 9 and cloth is 15 and diamond is ten. I don't. Oh, I don't know what this is. Let's just. <laughs> I have to figure that out. Uh, let's just set it to ten, since diamond seems like a pretty good armor. But this should definitely be something different. And you can play around with these numbers. You, uh, this one and this one. These numbers are fine. You could probably make them higher, and I don't know if you'll actually get more armor. Let's figure that out sometime. But uh, all right, so we have these. And we have our own metal set. So let's go down here. And just like in our tool, oh, the comma wasn't there before. I actually put it there. So you, you're going to want to put a comma and then blockium or whatever you named your, your metal up there. So we're, we're done in the enum armor material. And we just created a new armor material. So now let's go to our mod blockium.java. We're going to need to start making items. So let's go public static final item blockium helmet. Let's make a helmet first. New item. Now, all armor is of item armor. So let's go new item armor. And if we go look into the item armor class, the constructor requires an int, which is the ID of the, of the item. Enum armor material is what we just made. Like, the, what what is the material of the armor? Int J, which would be render index, which is um, man, 
it's pretty much um man, I don't know how to hmm, I don't know how to say this. Okay, I got it, I got it. Let's go look at the oh, what did I just do. Let me bring that back up. Okay. So if we go into render player, I know I'm jumping around here, it's just, just so much stuff to cover, it's just yeah. If we go into render player, this is this is the class that pretty much makes it creates the player. And if we if you wear armor, these are all the different types of armor that you can wear. Now you see this says file name prefix. What we did before on those uh on those pictures, each one of those pre each one of those pictures had a either cloth underscore one cloth underscore two and this is what matters I mean these prefixes this is this is what the pictures are about now normally what we would do is we would just put a comma under and then put um, blockium in there since that's where our picture was called but do not do this we want to modify as at like the least amount of classes I guess you could say they're already there so we don't really want to modify Minecraft classes. We want to utilize Mod Loader as much as we can, so we don't have modding compatibility. Now, Mod Loader does have a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool little um, method for this. So you see this, like armor file name prefix, and it pretty much adds a prefix. Now, if we go look at Mod Loader, it has a method called add armor and then string. And then you see, like the string is part of a field armor list. That's pretty much this armor file name. Like this is this is pretty much the same um, array. This mod loader method just adds onto that array. So we can use a mod loader method without modifying render player. So let's go ahead and do that.